Greetings and salutations and welcome once again to the Capus Crusaders live from Empire's Comics Vault. Yeah! Yeah! Thanks, Stress. My name is David Barry at DR Barry on varying social media platforms. Um, I'm also hungry because I just uh, binge watched a bunch of the Great British Baking Show, so oh, I could go for me some too. scones, Drink? maybe some sponge. Drink? That's water. Okay. That's not water. That's fu anyway. To my left, we have greetings, foolish mortals. Oh. On your mark, get set, bake. Oh. I've been watching the British Bake Off as well, as I. Sue Perkins is like my spirit animal. We're not going to talk about comic books anymore. This We're is, just going to talk no. about British baking. This is the Mad Piper, ready to talk about sponge. Ready to talk about, uh, I guess, comics. I've got a giant stack of um, of Swamp Thing here and also mm -hmm. Sandman. It's topical because I was very sick. I was a swamp creature for a bit, and I was also very sleepy. Oh, oh I see. So, this is the Mad Piper, only on Instagram. Fantastic. At the Mad Piper. Um, how do we do this again? Do that. <clears throat> I was not watching the same British show, but I was watching... <gasps> Kitchen Nightmares for an episode or two. This is the Azorian one, Anthony and Steve's. We should just talk about cooking shows from now on. British Ooh, cooking shows? I think we'll be far then more successful. Then we take the eggs. No. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's Roar in the Middle, mate. <laughs> I, by the way, uh, as you can see, we have a we have a Logan-heavy yes. stack. I got Logan and X-23. Yes. From the Logan Steve's. and X-23 at uh, the bottom. I have celebrating uh, Women's Appreciation, well, hi Women's History Month, I should say. Uh, I got a whole stack. Every female character in the book. Almost. Except for Wonder Woman, that doesn't look I got, I big got, enough because I, I think the... women have been around. No, no, what it is is, is than... every every book is women. I'm, I'm wearing, I see. I'm wearing the bracelet. If every woman is in the book. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got the bracelet. I got the bracelet. So she's there. Nice. In case you're wondering, there's gonna be a trailer tomorrow. That there I, is that a I don't trailer. care about. Um, anyway, hi Gal Gadot, if you watch, what are you doing? So, uh, <laughs> continue. Friend of the show, if Gal Gadot. Uh, so, as always, you can find us on any yeah. social media website, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Pinterest. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on baking now. We're not on Pinterest. <laughs> We're on Pinterest? Yeah, we are. Uh, Snapchat. Somebody you, make a Pinterest so he's not online. Sure. Twitter, all of them. Uh, so, for those of you who are unaware, we like to go to conventions sometimes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're aware of this. Sometimes uh, we go to, to cons. Yes. Uh, sometimes they are colossal, if oh, you will. Oh, wait, I think I know what he's doing. I will. Is what? this a ham-fisted segue? This is a ham-fisted segue. I think yes. it is. Because we, as a podcast, are going to be at Colossus Con Boom. in Pleasanton, California, and it is going to be April 8th. Cool. At the Alameda County Fairgrounds, yes. ah. which is the, where they have the, the Scottish Games. They're, oh, I did not ah, know that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Steve's. We're not going to be- the big Scottish Games. Go with me yeah. this year. We're not going to be throwing okay. logs, though. Oh. We're going to be- Cabers. Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. Um, we're going to be instead talking to Burn a local. It. I'm sorry, it's my brave heart. Line. Comic book, my island. Stop <laughs> it, Jesus! You guys are just easy to we get off. Forty topic. minutes, man. Derail it. You're too business. That's true. Let's just flip the table. Yep. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jesus! You guys almost <laughs> did it. So we are going to be at Colossus Con. Um, in Pleasanton, they have two actually every year. They also have another one in Merced. Um, we're going to be going to that one as well. Nice. Um, so, we actually are going to be speaking with a representative from Colossus Con. His name wow. is Dave. Oh my god. Which it's a good, it's a good strong name. Um, Dave. Dave H. To Dave be H. to be exact. Um, and I understand from Curtis that that is going to be happening any minute now. Oh, so yeah. so. Oh, we, is this our first so live wait, show? We're, patch we this are. Like, wait, we just need. We're legit. We're becoming even more legit. We have like a, a call coming into the show. Yes. The legitness, yeah. Someone it's, could be like a uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Could that yeah. be happening? Yeah. Oh we could God. definitely have one of those wow. situations. Wow. <laughs> long-time listener, first-time caller. Hey, and send our phone number. It's 555-5555. Everyone call in, please. No one's calling Well, in. we're getting a call. That's interesting. It's the bubbles. We got the bubbles. Going. Caller, go ahead. <laughs> oh. Uh. Did it work? Dave? <laughs> Dave. Uh, hello? I'm sorry, Dave. I can't uh, do, I that, good, do that, Dave. Good joke. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, I've been... Hey! hey! We got Dave! <laughs> we got Dave! Do we have an image of Dave? Hi, Dave. <laughs> no image of Dave. We don't know. Dave, can you hear us? I need to wait for one of you guys to say, Dave's not here. That's the next one. Uh, <laughs> Dave's not here, <laughs> man. Do all of the Dave-related jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Dave, since we got you on audio, we'll just we'll just jump right into it. 
Um, first off, what is your uh, your what is the word I'm looking for? Capacity when it comes to Colossus Con. How are you involved with the convention? Uh, well, basically, uh, my title is president of uh, business operations. Ooh. If uh, I guess if you're into hockey, uh, I'd, I'd be the the Luke Robitaille position. Okay, so. all right. <laughs> Didn't get that nice. reference. We have oh, one nice. hockeyer here. <laughs> Amy, Amy is in the back, Amy's very like, happy right now. Reference. She's very happy. <laughs> Robitaille from the back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so, Dave, how long have you been involved uh, with Colossus Cons? Is the beginning, or are you hired on after the fact? No, no, no. From the very beginning, um, you know, basically Colossus Con is kind of, kind of my baby. I mean, I'm not uh, the head honcho or anything, um, but you know, it, it it basically started because we felt that there was a need for this type of convention, um, and uh, we had it in Merced for the first year, and it was uh, very successful. As, and uh, people wanted it back, and uh, people asked for it in the Bay Area, so we brought it to the Bay Area as well. So, uh, you know, it's uh, it's just been a lot of fun doing them, and uh, we plan to be around for many, many years, hopefully past my lifetime. Nice. nice. So, well, I mean, we hope that not soon. Yeah. You, you sound very nice. Yeah. Um, no, on no, that I point, though, <laughs> I hope uh, it's how long has the con been going on for? How, how many years? I mean, how many annuals are we at? Annuals. Yeah, uh, well, Colossus Con started last year in Mer- in Merced. Okay. So that was the first year for Colossus Con. Really, you guys and had then, a uh, you guys had a fantastic you know, lineup for the first year. Yeah, we had uh, Gil Gerard and Felix Silla, you know, from Buck Rogers, and it was a mini reunion, no pun intended. But uh, <laughs> it was uh, loads of fun, and people had come down from the Yosemite Mountains just to see Gil Gerard. So um, we were delighted to have him because it's a, a rare opportunity and probably the last time he'll be in California. Wow. Oh, heavy. Yeah. So so this is the first annual. So yeah, technically, yeah. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah, for, for Pleasanton, yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting because we have two locations. Um, you know, we plan on expanding, uh, not in California because right now California is – really saturated mm. with uh conventions right is, now so oh, we're looking at other states so next year what you're going to see is uh it's going to be uh california colossus con Ooh. and then you know so it'll we'll be expanding there so um you know other states will have colossus con as well and you know the whole idea of colossus con was that we wanted a convention for everybody every convention goer you know, I've been to so many of the corporate conventions, mm-hmm. and it's major money to get in, 55 bucks. It's 250 bucks for an autograph. You know, they they rush you around, you know, in the panel rooms waiting in line all day like your sheep. And, and then you have the other shows who maybe have one or two C-listers, and it's like five bucks to get in. And so we needed something that was just kind of like, um, you know, the three bears, you know, um, we need to. We need something just right for the fans. Nice. Have enough good celebrities, and at a reasonable price to get in, and autographs not more than twenty dollars. Because you know, when people go to the big corporate shows, they just break the bank, and people save up sometimes for an entire year just to go to a show. I I, I may or may not have spent almost four hundred dollars to meet Stan Lee, so I, I I know what you're talking about. Idiot. Wow, it was awesome. What it, it's it's been his Facebook profile pick quite a few times. Yeah, worth yeah. every penny. But I, I got still, mine for one hundred. But I still appreciate yes. that that sentiment um, because it's it's true. There are just, there are a lot of conventions that it's either one or the other, and it's nice to have something down the middle right. that we can all enjoy. Um, so this year, what can we look forward to specifically at Colossus Con in Pleasanton? Well, uh, Colossus Con, what we do is, you know, the Merced location is completely different than the Pleasanton location. So you have two different shows under the same name. So people who are in Merced can go to Pleasanton and enjoy, you know, two two great shows completely different with the same type of uh, moniker. Um, this year I'm very excited for, you know, people who are very much into Transformers, um, Right. The original uh, animated cartoon, we have Michael Bell, Ooh. who did many of the voices for Transformers, G.I. Joe, Voltron, oh. uh, The Incredible Hulk, oh. even <laughs> Super Friends. Yes. I mean, oh. it's on and on. He's probably one of the most <laughs> prolific um, voice actors in the United States. And, uh, yeah, we're very happy to have him. And then another surprise um, 
is Julie Doolin, who is the voice of Princess Leia in Star Wars Rebels. Oh, nice. And this is the first time that she's going to be coming into the Bay Area. Nice. And it was kind of nice for us because we caught her before, you know, she's, you know, because right now she's the only Princess Leia, you right. know, uh, you know, still with us, uh, unfortunately, because of Carrie Fisher passed away. So she's going to be taking on a lot of the, um, you know, uh, voice acting and, and even in the future Star Wars movies, it looks like she'll be doing a lot of the, um, you know, a lot of the um, voices for Princess Leia from now on. So it is very nice to have her. And then we have, I don't want, we probably don't want to name all the guests because there's a lot of them, uh, just the, the big ones. But then we have a, a VR Troopers uh, oh, reunion. Man. I don't know if you remember VR Troopers. We yes. are yes. VR yeah. Troopers. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we have Michael Holland, uh, Hollander, <laughs> sorry. Um, and we have uh, Brad Hawkins. And Brad Hawkins was also in uh, Power Rangers Zeo. And he was also a voice yeah. actor in One Piece, uh, oh. the animated uh, television show. Nice. Yeah. So those guys are getting together for the first time in a, in a couple of years, and that's exciting. And then Jack Stauffer, who I don't know if you know from Battlestar Galactica, he played uh, Boje. Yes. And uh, he'll be there, and he'll be doing a special panel uh, uh, tribute memorial to uh, Richard Hatch. Oh, and nice. uh, as far as we know, it's the only panel of its kind. So uh, that's going to be special. Um, And then we also have Kathy Garver, as you know, voice uh, actor for uh, Firestar for Spider-Man and uh, his amazing friends. Yes. And uh, she's she's a local girl. So uh, she's been around at other shows, but she's such a wonderful person. We had to have her, you know. Um, You guys aren't joking about uh, Colossus. (laughs) Colossal is is, is more of an accurate moniker right now. Like this is this is going to be And we have, uh, you know, Chris Marinan, uh, Marvel artist, who's a local boy from Sacramento. Friend of the the show, Chris Marinan. Chris. Chris. Right, right, we and uh, he, John Hebing, and a lot of other uh, guests, and we do have some great cosplay guests as well. I know, uh, well, there's a show uh, in Florida, Convention of Florida, that had, a, I think, is bleeding cool. They had a big article about how they told the cosplayers don't show up, you know, no cosplayers, and Colossus Con embraces cosplayers. Good. We love cosplayers. The more people who come, the better. We try to put on the best cosplay contest. And for this year, we're introducing a beautiful, excellent trophy plus two hundred dollars in cash. Oh. So, huh. um, yeah. you Sounds know, up. we like to get the cosplayers out there because they make it more fun. And a lot of the little kids, you know, five, six, seven, eight years old, what have you, they love taking pictures with the cosplayers. So, I guess they're I always to, uh, good to have as well. I'll have to finish my Lobo cosplay. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I might <laughs> you have to agree. I might. First. Yeah. I might need to start it. Yeah. Actually. So I'm gonna get him a bike. I, I just have to apologize for talking too much because I'm known to just go on and on and on. So I you're, you're, in, man. you're in the right place. Yeah, yeah. we talk here. Yeah. We don't have you on every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not sick of you. Like I'm sick of everyone else on this table. Hey, shut oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> so drink the sorrow away. Before before we before we let you go, Dave. Last question for you. What what do you want? Because I know you already talked about expanding into other states. What is the goal of Colossus Con? What can we look forward to in the future? Uh, well, you can look for uh, bigger and better guests every year. That's what uh, I specifically work on. Um, fans can always look forward to having uh, inexpensive uh, entries where you know you can bring the whole family for you know forty bucks, not four hundred dollars. Nice. Um, and it's always going to be family friendly. It's always going to be just a great time. It's just a lot of fans getting together, having a great time. Uh, and the great thing about Colossus Con is we don't rush people through autograph lines. You can actually sit with the guests, talk with them for 20 minutes if you want, because the guests we bring are really extreme extroverts who want to sit with the fans and uh, a lot of great panels into the future. So we're going to continue the formula that we have because it's been uh, well received. And uh, I just think that for for a show to to be at a point where it's inexpensive enough where just about anyone can get in the price of a uh, uh, a large number one at McDonald's super size can get you into a show you know what yes. I mean mm-hmm. and, I, I like and the then uh, and then you know the whole family can go and 
you know, it's it's all about building memories and it's a, about building friendships. And that's basically what we're focusing on. And uh, Pleasanton is going to be amazing. And I, I can't wait. I look forward to it. You know, when when you're doing a show, there's two sides of it. You're you're biting your fingernails and you're under a lot of stress. But then you're also looking forward to it as well. So, you know, you're jumbled up with a bunch of emotions when <laughs> when you're going through the process. Nice. Well, Dave, thank you very much for talking to us tonight. We will see you in person, obviously, on April 8th. Um, so, again, thank you. Uh, and everyone should obviously check out Colossus Con, both dates, both locations. We will see you in Pleasanton in April. Uh, Dave, thank you very Excellent. much. Goodbye, hey, Dave. Thank you for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Of course. No problem, Dave. Thank you, man. All right. Look okay. forward to a stress cosplay. <laughs> well, gonna, we're going to dress up like a like That's, a succulent with yeah. an oddly shaped uh, growth. We won't talk about that. <laughs> I don't anyway, know if it's odd. It's pretty common. Uh, it <laughs> might be. Sometimes when we're in comic book stores, we like to discuss what we've been reading this week. We do? Because of that, we like to go around the horde. <laughs> Release the hounds. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, when we go around the horn, we go around the table in a circular fashion, oh. except for the fact that we no longer have a circular table. No. And we discuss what we've... some time now. I mean, it's been a it's, long it's time. A Basically, while. like the last time we had a round table, is, like we had Drew. We, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah oh, I know. Bringing it down. <laughs> Love you, Drew. Love Mick. Drew. So, okay. We are going to talk about what we've been <laughs> reading this week. Uh, Piper, I know you've been under the weather. I oh. have. I know you've been down under. Oh. Uh, so, uh, nice. so <laughs> how, uh, how how is your reading going um, <laughs> last week? I'll let you recover. I mean, so no. I didn't read. The last thing I read, I didn't read this last week because I was, that's a visual joke. Sorry, uh, podcast land. Um, you're welcome, you People two. listening are like, what? Um, what? I don't hey, what did he do? I wonder what he did. So I, was re I, I did a, 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 a thing for, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I was reading The X-Force by Rick Remender oh, again. Fantastic. I read it not that long ago. I want to say six or eight months ago. Yeah. But I, I read it again because I loved it, and I got reminded of it by a guy at work. He's like, oh, I was, I was reading this for the first time. I'm like, oh, I should reread that. Can I borrow it? And then I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's right over there. You can just take one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ben, ben doesn't mind if I just... <laughs> we it's it's, it's yeah. like a library in here. Yeah. We, li we live here. It's fine. So, yeah. So, but, yeah, but it was, it was great. The phenomenal. Like, the artwork is great. The whole, like, Wolverine as Apocalypse is terrifying. <laughs> uh, Archangel as Apocalypse is terrifying and stunning. I think most people as Apocalypse are terrifying. Yeah, those two did it. Like, po aesthetically, very po effective. Dameron as as Apocalypse. Not as terrifying. <laughs> apocalypse. Ivan, <laughs> Ivan Ooze as Apocalypse. Ivan Ooze. Moderately terrifying. That was on the movie, right? Yeah. Power Rangers. So, yeah. You're welcome. So yeah, mm -hmm. it was. Yeah, it's a good book. I'm, My I'm, second read through, but it was it's incredible. I, I appreciate when you go back and read a book. Sure. Uh, Steve's. Yes. What do you got? Oh, thanks for asking. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> so polite uh, all of a sudden. <laughs> media. I will once again <laughs> present uh, <laughs> one <laughs> from DC and one from Marvel. Uh, on the Marvel side, I read. America One. Uh, it's about the uh, th this hero America who was of the she's birth of two moms, correct? Yeah. And they the moms gave their life to save the multiverse, correct? Right. Another dimension. And she's now in the this current dimension. Yes. And she believes she ends up going to college. Basically, right. is what it is. Yeah. She's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, so, America yeah. Cruz is her full. Is her, hey hey. It's Chavez. new to me. I'm, I'm, I didn't see all the Marvel Chavez. stuff. Chavez. 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 Like oh like in uh like in uh, Young Guns. Yeah. Why are you um, Brendan Fraser from Encino, man? No wheezing the juice. No wheezing. I like it. Wheezing the juice. <laughs> um, so reading that, <laughs> she's it's man very comical, very funny. Uh, in the end, she ends up, well, spoiler, at one point in there, she goes back in time and meets a certain captain. And it's quite funny how she- Marvel? <laughs> No. no, not that one. <laughs> the other captain. I'm no. going to start naming Wait, captains. No, no, the, the one that you, think, think you love. Think of her name. Her name is America Chavez. Uh -huh. yeah. What captain would she? The guns in Civil War. Into? The gun. The guns in Civil War. The gun. I'm not understanding. Chris Evans. Uh, she meets him. Um, she meets Chris Evans. Uh, that's the, the Human one. Torch. Yes, she. <laughs> she meets him. She meets not another teen movie. Done it. <laughs> She meets not OT movie with Crim Bikini. Um, and then <laughs> it was a banana split. It was a banana split. <laughs> <laughs> On to the DC side. Yes. <laughs> Curtis is shaking his head. Uh, to the DC side, I read Batman 18. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. I read Batman. Um, it can vote. 
Yes, it can vote. Uh, Batman, once again, is in the middle of... Basically, he has the pirate... Psycho Pirate. Psycho Pirate. Oh, yes. The worst DC character ever. Yes. And Bane has held hostage people of Batman's family and and friends. Jim Gordon, Nightwing. uh, Let's see. He he has Red Hood. It's the same Batman story. Wait. 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 When Gotham City lies in ashes... You have my permission to vote. Yes, that's it. No. Uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You didn't just give his power over me? No. no. Um, <laughs> Finish so Bane, Batman, though, is not really fighting him. He's simply oh. getting in his way. Bane is pummeling on Batman, and Batman is just saying, that's all you got? And he's giving him just, just smiling at him. Uh, we realized the whole that's time it. that Batman was simply playing decoy because oh. someone else was helping the Bat, and we all know who usually teams up with the Bat. <laughs> Selina. Selina. Oh. I, I don't. I didn't know that. It was, it was, it was, it was Selena I, Kyle. I was thinking of like uh, it was Selena Kyle. She yeah. she Robin? helped. She helped the bat. Uh, she helped the bat. Jim no, Gordon, they were kidnapped. Uh, I just said they were bat, kidnapped. Bat girl. They were kidnapped. Bat I just said. <laughs> Selena helps. The human free. torch. <laughs> Selena helps. They're free, and Batman disappears, and Bane's like, "Where's Batman?" And, and that's where it goes. Wait, he says, "Where's Batman?" No, he look. He actually looks. <laughs> <at the, laughs> he actually looks down an alleyway, and it's dark. But then lightning strikes, and there's Batman's <laughs> silhouette waiting for Bane for the next issue. And then the animated cartoon begins. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got the Zeppelins like yeah. floating in. <laughs> Guys run up. There's Batman. Anyway, um, Tom was supposed to be here, but he's in the process of getting famous. Um, yes. So Tom read the New 52 Justice League Dark Volume 1. He's Again, guilty of get money. I don't know why he's still reading New 52. It just it boggles my mind. Like, rebirth now. Because it's kid, not new anymore, right? Exactly. It's, it's old, old, 52. old 52. It's less than old impressive. Old New 52. I like when he's not here and we just give him just, just in, in, in this amount. He's not even commenting. Sorry, Tom. No. Just, he knows he's wrong. No, I think he left. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's probably he's making the money. <laughs> So on I on I read set. comics as well. I also read a number eighteen. Did you? It was Marvel. It was all new Wolverine number eighteen, Ooh. Uh, which we see Laura Kinney, aka X twenty three, aka Wolverine, um, <laughs> get to uh, basically face down the person who made her the way she was. Because now she's kind of over it. She's Wolverine now, but for a while she was just a weapon. She was a violent weapon that was used for terrible, terrible things. She got to come face to face with the individual. Is it the Human Torch? <laughs> Comedy comes in threes. I had to ask. I had to ask. Sorry. And so did deaths. Anyway. Um, oh. <laughs> but we've already had our third. I'm safe. Yay! Uh, so she comes <laughs> face to face with the person who made her into the weapon that she was, and she finally gets to uh, to close that chapter of her life. It Striker? was fantastic. Striker? It was not Striker. You're thinking of the wrong Wolverine. Not Brian Cox? I appreciate you. Was it Logan? Uh, the other one, <laughs> he did. Uh, the other uh-huh. comic that I read uh, was, everyone should appreciate this. It was Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, yeah. number six. I've been reading this. Yes. Did you read number six? Uh, no, I've, I'm up to five. So the wonderful thing about number six is it was a choose your own adventure. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it, it was literally, at the bottom, it's like, if you want to save this sorcerer, go to page 16. Actually, if you want, I have it in the truck. Yeah, if I'm you want to go to this sorcerer, save page. It's hysterical, and it took me a really long time to read because I kept picking the wrong options. Because you went straight through. Yeah, no, I, just, I, don't <laughs> I don't care. Get it. I don't care anymore. So they, it was awesome. You should check it out. The art's fantastic. The story, I think that was a really cool element to add to a comic book. Wow. Um, even though R.L. Stein had nothing to do with it, but BT dubbed, he's writing man thing, which just doesn't make any sense. Ooh, R.L. Stein. So other times we're in comic books, we like to talk about comic book uh, shows. Yes. We like to talk about comic book movies. Uh, we like to criticize sometimes. We do. Uh, me, not so much. I'm usually just like, everything's great! Look at his cape! Me, Re- very Re- much. squirrel girl! So, but today, uh, we have a guest, and I'm gonna let, uh, I'm gonna let my man, Anthony Steves. Taz one. Taz one, if you will. I like that. Taz one. Uh, the Azorian ones. So you you're beautiful. The, the, the Azorian ones. Uh, we're gonna let him do the introductions and the honors. Take it away, Mr. Steves. Yes, our special guest, hailing from California State University, Sacramento. She is the is. TV criticism professor. Warm welcome, please, for Dr. Michelle Foss. Hey! That was a warm round. Yes. Thank That's you. it. Thank there we you. are. There we are. Thanks. Thanks. Belly button against the tip of the table. <laughs> yes. yes. So, <laughs> as comfortable pull, pull as you will be. Yeah. Ah! Yep. Got it. Thanks mm-hmm. for joining the show. Have we been fun? Has it been all right? Absolutely. Okay. Good, I good, have good. been critiquing though. Mm-hmm. Oh no. I'll share my notes with you oh, later. You're going to talk good. about television shows? <laughs> not. We're not on TV yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. She's had fun. She'll never watch again. <laughs> but she's had fun. All right. Doctor, can I call you doctor? You can. Oh, I like that. Professor, can I call professor? <laughs> that works. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you teach TV criticism. I what, do. What exactly is TV criticism? What does it entail? 
So, so in the class, I did you take that class with me? Yes, you yeah, did. Yeah. Okay, right. So you know what it's about, oh, but yes, we'll tell the people, right? <laughs> so, uh, so in the class, a lot of people sign up for the class because they're thinking, yes, we just get to watch TV. That's what I would think. Yeah. No. So we do watch TV. There's a lot of TV watching that happens, uh, but really, we look at television as a rhetorical force, meaning that it is a creative way to shape hearts and minds and spirits and actions of the people. So when we are critiquing it, what we're really doing is we are looking at how the folks who do create it go about making their artifacts uh, powerful and wonderful and chewy and amazing. (laughs) Do you use chewy in class? Are we talking about British baking shows? So listen, (laughs) P.S. Love that show. Yes. Up top. Here we go. the way. Yes. Love that show. Sponge. Toffee Um, buys. Yeah, exactly. So... Uh, yeah, I do, and they, they actually laugh at me for using the word chewy, but... I like it. I like it. I feel like it's appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Television has a texture. Exactly. It does. <laughs> yeah. It does. So, the, true story, I did not know much at all about Star Trek The Next Generation when I had taken oh. her class. I know. Yes. <laughs> Calm down. I thought you were going to say you didn't know much. Put the pitchforks away right now. <laughs> Stop it. Um, How dare you. But Card for president. <laughs> taking How her class you. made me realize... How deep Star Trek actually got into civil rights mm. issues, yeah. race issues, all those issues. I'm, I'm sitting there watching, and she only showed maybe you know 15 minutes, 20 minutes of the show, and I was of like, one episode. "This was deeper than <laughs> right. I thought it was." Because yeah. I was the kid watching Batman the Animated Series, yeah. and when it ended, then came the reruns, and I was like, uh, right. "I didn't know about Patrick Stewart till Professor X." I oh apologize. man, uh, <laughs> but that's I know, okay. Um, I know. That's but, okay. But. Because of this show, I totally respect Star Trek more than I ever did because of Yay. how deep it delved into things. Are you watching it at home? Moving on to the next question. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> who would appreciate No, listen, deep it's on I will, I will. right now, as a matter of Currently, fact, because the yeah. BBC does it all day long on Fridays. The next just time so we know. podcast, I want you to say T Earl Grey Hot for your intro. I think we should just oh, have it just should. on the just screen. Just on the there, it should be we'll in just, your we'll mug. It should be. be. It should be. It should be in your mug. <laughs> Engage. Good. I have a funny story, actually, should. if you'd like to. We like funny Please so, tell. Yeah. The, so the reason why I feel like Star Trek is kind of my native language, mm. right? Um, I feel fluent in Star Wars also, but I'm a, good, but good. I'm a native speaker of Star Trek. So uh, I grew up in Central Oregon. And uh, there were not a whole lot of people who looked like me there. Uh, Emery glasses? Yeah, yeah, exactly, right. Were any plaid? Their (laughs) lip colors were much more conservative. (laughs) Oh, I see. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, so anyway, so it was basically me and my mom. My uh, dad was white, mom's black. So dad dropped me off at school one day. And did I tell this story to your class? No, no. No. So dad dropped me off at school and two of my friends were waiting for me. And they were like, uh, I get out of the car, give my dad a kiss, goodbye. And I go over to see my friends. And they're like, oh, man, we didn't know you were adopted. And I was like, I'm adopted? Oh, (laughs) man. This is news. So, yeah. So I get home and I have all this attitude to my mom. And she's like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, you could have told me I was adopted because Courtney and Jessica said, I might still remember their names. (laughs) (laughs) Not like it was a shaping moment for me or anything. No. No big deal. Uh, so Courtney and Jessica said that uh, my dad's white and I'm black, so that means I'm adopted. And so my mom was like, okay, we'll just have a seat. <laughs> this <laughs> is a big afternoon. Because I guess we're going to have this conversation <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. So my mom is a huge, huge, huge Star Trek person. Uh, my dad actually looked like William Shatner. <laughs> I stood in one of those lines that your earlier guest was talking about for hours to get just a moment with uh, William Shatner. Nice. But he yeah. signed my dissertation, so that was kind of fun. Oh. Yeah. I hope he started off every conversation with, uh, I have this question. Good. God. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> Would the you boss. like me to... Sign. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He was a very nice man. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. So, anyway, so my dad kind of favored Shatner a little bit. Mm. And uh, so my mom had the Uhura thing going on. Hi, mom, if you're still watching. Uh, I like it. So she was like, okay, so now let's talk about Spock. And I was like, okay, it's whatever, Spock. Yeah. Yes. I'm, mm. I'm fully versed in Spock. So she's like, well, are you, uh, tell me about Spock. Where's Spock from? I was like, he's Vulcan. Okay, well, is he all Vulcan? I was like, yeah. She was like, but isn't his mom human? Well, yeah, but he's clearly Vulcan. And she was like, well, isn't he both? 
And I was like, hmm, is he both? <laughs> so am, am I Spock? <laughs> she was like, yeah, you're, you're basically Spock. Spock. Darling. <laughs> so I go to school the next day and I was like, listen here, Courtney and Jessica, I'm Spock. And they're just like, who's Spock? <laughs> listen, that didn't win me any more friends. <laughs> I didn't make more friends because of that. No, but you were anyway. the cutest kid ever, though. Oh you're my just, God, so like, awkward. Um, He's a Vulcan. I mean, clearly, obvi- it's just like obviously. I am. Listen, yeah. yeah, you know all about Spock. How old were you? I was like eight. That's at great. The time, oh, yeah, awesome. I watched a lot of TV. That's so. Good. Um, Buck Rogers, the Buck Rogers mention. <laughs> yeah, I was like, babe. oh my god, <laughs> Buck Rogers. I watched a lot of that too. So I grew up on a very healthy diet of good. television good. and film. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. My good. mom could not have known that I would grow up to do what I do, but. Uh, <laughs> But it worked out. I mean, I'm, I'm sure she's really happy that it's all that TV turned into something. Something fantastic, <laughs> like a professor. Like, that's huge. right. Not a serial killer. Yeah. Right. My, yeah. Uh, my, so far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> my my life is young. Good God. <laughs> Good. She's a serial killer. <laughs> she said, serial killer. <laughs> One, two, three bodies in the forest. <laughs> Oh, because P.S. I also study horror and slasher films. So Goodness, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's scary. Right? You knew that now. <laughs> yeah. Jason jumps out that. from behind a tree with a connection. Chainsaw. So that so could have been anything. So the connection of Star Trek and horror movies for you is William Shatner, because yeah. those watching at home, the Michael Myers mask. Here comes. That's right. Is a William Shatner mask turned mm-hmm. inside out. Mm-hmm. That's for you. Wait, guys, right the there. more you know. Oh shoot! <laughs> and Steve's <laughs> and, and Steve's is Portuguese. You know. Just, yes. Of course, saying facts that were <laughs> yeah. obvious. I was Biscoid. actually yeah. funny. Not, since you brought it up, <laughs> I was born in 1982. It was no. The um, year was. <laughs> my dad gave me the kind of the same story with her because when I went to school, I didn't speak English or Spanish. It was the weird thing called Portuguese, huh. and the Spanish kids didn't get it, and the white kids didn't get it. Well, the English kids didn't get it, mm. and so my dad was like, "Remember how Clark Kent?" Felt weird in high school and uh, alone. Well, well, yeah. You're Clark Kent. That's, that was why, kind of, that's oh, yeah. why the ego is so gigantic. <laughs> that's what oh, it is. Yes, that's I what happens. Like, mm, you're Superman. You're Superman. This is absolutely. Go this is forth why and help I'm the world. So hard on you. Every media's that happens is because yeah. my parents didn't give me any of that stuff. I said like, oh, is there this? And like, you're not special. Justin, do your homework. <laughs> Nothing like you guys. <laughs> Very I'm, different. I'm, talk. I'm <laughs> sorry that you. You're not a snowflake, yeah, right? My, my, no. Get in the world and work. <laughs> just like all right. Pull, pull the I'm, gonna, um, I'm gonna say media from now on, just for that. Oh, now that I know. Oh, that's sweet. No, Thank he's not. You, he's not. He's not. He still makes something important. Back on Let me topic. Him. Sure. Um, <laughs> So We've got when <laughs> with uh, with TV criticism, <laughs> yes, um, you're watching a show. Yes, how do you apply it? How do you how do you look for it? The way they're is it the way they're writing? Is it the way the, the angle is done? What what are you looking for precisely? So I'm looking for everything, which is why I don't even take on a show to study it unless I'm already a little bit familiar with it mm. uh, because it in order to produce some the the kind of work that I try to do it requires me to watch it probably maybe 20 times oh. and to add, that's a light easy number <laughs> so like nothing with a million seasons uh, so well, like, no, yeah. No, no. Star Trek. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. Good God. How so, do you find all the time for like to do I don't during... sleep. Okay. So I thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't. That's fair I, enough. I mean, so we have multiple TVs in the house and they are always on. Even if no one's home, the Beagle is home and he's watching. <laughs> so In the bathrooms, <laughs> in the laundry room. Yeah, absolutely. I feel better now. Absolutely. Feel better. We go to sleep. Do. Discovery ID is basically like a lullaby for me. <laughs> I sleep to it. <laughs> I love that stuff. Wives with knives? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's you my jam. Are a serial <laughs> I knew this. I knew it. Everything makes sense. That now. kind yeah. of serial. <laughs> so, uh, lucky yeah, oh, I, oh. I will kill that. <laughs> <laughs> Murdered <laughs> the serial. Consider it dead. I like it. So, with that, what shows do you feel of the comic book genre that mm-hmm, you watch mm-hmm. excel at, at at hitting these topics you bring up or have a study and look through? Right. So, um, I, I first of all. I love... Okay. Here we go. I know. I have to take a second. Get real. Wait, I didn't get to say why I chose the Hulk. Oh, no. Go for it. Go for it. That's important. So my very first comic Mm. was a She-Hulk. And I didn't see... Maybe... Is is She-Hulk in your stuff? I couldn't find the She-Hulk, actually, because she's fantastic right now. Yeah. She's always fantastic. Yeah. Maybe she sold out. It's Women's um, History Month. Oh, I would like to see that. Anyway, so... (laughs) uh, So... uh, 
there I feel like there is a constant battle going on and maybe it's just a conversation between my husband and myself oh. uh, <laughs> but there is a battle and it's a DC Marvel battle okay Barry and get back here <laughs> <laughs> you better bring it on back right <laughs> um, so in terms of the films I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it say I'm it. gonna state my claim say it. Uh, DC is getting its butt handed to it. Oh, that's fact, though. That's badly. not a, that's not opinion. That's fact. fact. Badly, it's fact. badly. It's fact. That's been proven. Badly. He, he, he yeah. found She-Hulk. He found oh, She-Hulk. Oh, yay. it wasn't it wasn't sold out. Oh, there she is. All and right. Now the mic can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Okay. Perfect. Let me kill Meister style. Like <laughs> singing up to it. <laughs> Good video. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, in in the movies, it's, it's just fact. it's really embarrassing, actually. Uh, and uh, but. It, of all of the the TV adaptations that I watch, mm-hmm. and of the ones I watch, uh, I watch Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, both of which I adore. Um, but the one that I'm most excited about as a critic is Gotham. Really? Mm. Okay. On Fox. Okay. Really? Which was a real surprise to me, actually. Me too, just now. Oh, <laughs> you're, su- you're surprised that I like it? Someone watches it? Yeah, I was just, Re- yeah. Because oh, yeah. yeah, traditionally I've, I've no I watched kidding. it, I was just like, because <laughs> you like Batman, yeah, and it's not Batman, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's literally most people's issue. Is like so, I like what, I and like Batman. that's kind of why I love it, and mm. that's so that's why I feel like it's getting. Um, that's why it's good. That's why it's basically the thing that DC needs to do more of because Marvel has taken a lot of risks with their properties and it's paid off. And I feel like DC should be paying attention. And instead, they're only doing that on this tiny little property that, like you said, nobody's watching except for me. Right. Now, I don't like Fish Mooney. Oh, okay. Well, two of us are watching. So that's, but we, I we are not all, enough. He also Wait, does not like I mean? Fish Mooney. Common so ground. I'm in the middle yeah, of season three. I don't like Fish I Mooney to, either. I need to catch up. It got too violent for with the little guy around. So that's why, uh, and we watched everything else. I need oh, to get back yeah. on it. It's, it's, I have, it's yeah, so it's a little, it's a little tricky. Yeah. No, but I love Gotham. Nice. I really do. Nice. And here's, oh, so this is the first thing that told me that this was something that I was going to invest in. I want to say it was season two, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure about that. But there was a point where I was like, okay, who is going to be Catwoman? Who is it? Is it this little baby Selena Kyle, who, by the way, is fantastic. Oh, yeah. She's so good. Um, Or is it going to be this other woman who has claws and a whip? And it's like the fact that you're keeping me guessing that you're you're getting me to take the cannon and be like, "Mm, dumping it. it Yeah. Okay, now do something else. When they ki- can I I can spoil. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so when they killed the guy that we all know is supposed to be the Joker. That's the last one I saw. I oh, was like, time. "What?" Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm here for but, this. But he influences all these other people out there right. who could be the next Joker. Right. Yeah. I'm like, "What is a world where there's no Joker before there's a Batman?" Yeah. What? Well, yeah, and then they caught me off guard with the, you know, Jim Gordon's Fiance Barbara, Barbara, right? Who's supposed to be the mom of, of the eventual Batgirl, Bar- yeah. yeah. but she is nowhere near Correct. mom material right Correct. now on that show. No, and she gets worse. Oh, yes. okay, oh, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, so Steve is excited. Do I'm gonna get, get back in there. Like when when they start like just kind of screwing with the cannon, and then you you're left to figure it out. Or do you like that feeling? You're like, no, wait. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you have to just like, how does it, okay? I, I'm only like that about Star Trek. Okay, everyone else. I'll I'll hang in there with you to right. see where you go with it. But when you mess with Star Trek canon, you, <laughs> so, you, so, so you, you don't want to hear. You with also me. thought the Enterprise was terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Good. No, oh, I didn't even watch. And that's yeah, there we go. Oh. See, are we back? Are we okay there now? We're good. We're okay. Good. <laughs> did, did you read the uh, the story about who's coming next season to Gotham? A certain leader of the League of Shadows. Yeah, oh. Rachel Ghoul will be involved. Oh, in the but next season. wait. But you would appreciate because the actor playing him. Oh, mm-hmm. tell me, tell. Mm-hmm. Come oh, on! I can't remember his name all of a sudden. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, what are you I'm doing? I'm looking at you guys for one of you to say. It's like, the Liam on, Neeson stuff. Um, I remember him from 24. You guys remember him from the other thing. Yeah, oh, God, why can't I remember? Wait, well, who was he the, on 24? The, he was season five, the terrorist turned peacekeeper that ended up... Um, he, he was w- on. He was the doctor from Deep Space Nine. Yeah. I don't know why I can't. Oh, Julian Bashir. Thank you. There we are. God, that uh, hurt. Okay, but that's not the actor's name. Oh, that's no, I know. But yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> like, how I know him. I, yeah, he's like, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's Julian. Right. Yeah. He will be Rachel Ghoul. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. yes. yeah, then, he, then he was. Cause oh, he, he, got, he went away for a while. That's and then he was in Game of Thrones. Perfect. The most important question on the show: Do you say Rachel Ross? <laughs> 
it's already been said, so now I'm feeling like a lot of weird well, pressure. No, I, say but like there's, there's, I say both. I he say Raj. You say what? Raj. Raj or Raj? What is it? <laughs> what is <laughs> She's like, I don't want to say I it. I think you invented a new way it's to say Roxy. it. It's Roxy. <laughs> Roxy. You know, Ray, Roxy. 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 From around the corner. No. Yeah. yeah, I think you say Raz. I say Raz Algo. Raz, you say Raj. both. I've said both. From I forget. I'm going to butcher what Tom says. I, I say Raj. I put a little J in there at the end. I Raj. Think. Raj. Raj. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. There's a, we, the, none Raj, of us have said it. Raj Al Ghul. There's the battle that in the animated series he was Raish. In the Christopher Nolan series he was so, Raz. He's Raz. Yeah. In Arrow, I appreciated they said both as if Raz was the Americanized way of saying it, and Raish was a traditional way of saying it. Which like is me. Like the way on the Great British Baking Show, they say Pitta instead of Pita because there's an extra T in the British. Uh, side. See? I see. see all, I, don't, I all should races. not have watched that show before I came here. <laughs> so, the, so the battle continues. Okay. It's, it's, out. Out. it's still out. I, oh, okay. I do my own thing. Interesting. Raj. Raj. Yeah. Batman right. or Bateman? <laughs> Which one? J- Jason Batman. <laughs> Jason Batman. He's funny. He's funny. He's but there not be an E in the middle of it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a linguistic battle with myself talking about yourself. <laughs> funny with Manny. <laughs> so, um, I have one. Go. So, you, you you watch Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Have not watched yes. Daredevil? Have not. Okay. Oh, so, I know the shame. Uh, Listen, I have, I, I have a few, I have a few blind spots. Okay. Because, yeah, it's like, you because watch everything. I, because I do I try to watch yeah. everything. It's, it's so. impossible to catch all. I was going to say, it there's is. time, but not for you. I don't not think there's really. enough time like, in the world. Yeah. yeah, not for you. Not if you're rewatching all these shows for your class. Right. Too many shows. So mm-hmm. the question I have for you: Have you heard the already uh, starting backlash to Iron Fist? Oh, I haven't. Okay, neither have I. They've been they've been violent. So why why are they mad? The people reviewing it. The already, interwebs are mad. Uh, they're they're angry because um, we were already kind of like, hey, you know, Iron Fist came out of the uh, the, obs- the America's obsession with martial arts in the seventies. Yeah. Um, and since then has basically become kind of a mockery of that, which is one of the beautiful things. Is mm-hmm. he's, he realizes that he's just an overused stereotype of the white guy who's all about martial arts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And apparently, we, oh, we can't, I feel like I we did don't, hear we don't know about if this. this, I mean, I've, I've read people's takes on it. Yeah. I obviously can reserve my own opinion. Right. But they're basically, it's seeming like rather than having him be the lighthearted, I'm, you know, I make fun of the fact that mm-hmm. I'm the 70s stereotype. It's a little bit more uh, him telling uh, people how it is when it comes to martial arts because he's the greatest martial artist in the world and it's like mm, you're a blonde haired white mm. dude mm. don't walk into a dojo and be like mm, <laughs> let me tell you about this martial arts that we made up in the 70s yeah so that's, <laughs> that's the up. main that's the, the but uh, okay. they've, also, they've also only released the first six episodes yeah. a lot of the reviewers mm. so mm. we will obviously reserve judgment yeah. but I, w- I would be interested to hear although we'll yeah. have to have you back once that's set that. how much does that change if he's walking into dojos going like there's the, like Mm. That's, no, that's yeah, already no, yeah, kind no, of no, precedent. Uh, mm-hmm. Episode seven, total so. change. Just everything is just. <laughs> right. Oh no, he's hilarious again. So, yeah. so as of right now, of all the shows that are before Iron Fist, um, all of them. What is your favorite comic book based TV series? I gotta go with Jessica Jones. Jessica yeah. Jones. I have to nice. go with Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is fantastic. Nice. Yes. It was. Uh, I mean, okay. So first oh, of all, oh, I have great. to say that, like, I respect the crap. Since I'm not supposed to swear, <laughs> uh, I respect Luke Cage so much, mm. and I really, really loved it. But there was something uh, about Jessica Jones that felt a little more dangerous to me. Mm. Um, and I'm all about the dark and twisty. I've already told you I study slasher movies, yes. kind of for fun. So there's right. uh, I there's that part of her character. Luke Cage is just so good. You know, mm-hmm. that I'm like, J- Jessica's bad. <laughs> so, and I'm into that. So, no, I love Jessica. Uh, Luke Cage made us jump on the uh, Mahershala Ali train well before Moonlight. So, Mahershala. Oh, well, friend, listen. Friend of the show. Congratulations. Friend of the show, but Jessica Jones is, is outstanding. So, I've been on his team since the 4400. Oh, way, okay. Way, right. way back. Okay. Way, okay. Anyone? No? Just me. I know, I know what you're talking about. I, know what you're I knew about. that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's all right. But that just goes that's, to show you. I've been on his team a long time. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Do you even know what that is? The 4400? No, yeah. Okay. I remember what it was. I never watched okay. it. Yeah. Uh, no. It wasn't that great. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't that great. But we he was like, great in it. We, yeah, we like him. He's he was great. Great. was great. Sure. Yeah. The show wasn't Wait, good. Wait, have you watched, do we ask about if you've watched Arrow or Flash or any of that stuff at all? 
None of none of that. So none of the CW stuff. Okay. For me, don't and, like it or haven't watched it. Well, it's more of a CW thing. I see. Yeah. Uh, All right. For me, that it up. that's fair. Yeah. I, 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 I <laughs> really I'm sure it's good because listen, good good programming pops up in the most unlikely of places. Sure. It, but like, I, mm, the, you know, well, the, the first season of Arrow was very much like it was it was CW. Yeah. It was yeah. a CW show, and it and was that's rough. what worries me. I always say it was, it was like oatmeal, like yep. it, like dry mm. oatmeal. Yes. It was good for you, but it was hard. Season to swallow. two is See? where it went, and, it then, and then it picked up. And then it, it didn't mature. Crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, does, yeah. it does. get good. So you know, if summer's you find, coming up. If you find time, there's in always your summer life to you know binge watch another show. Sure. <laughs> because we're friends with Robbie ML too. Robbie. Yeah, Robbie, Robbie. Robbie. You and you and Tom, great work out there. If you find time to binge watch another show, I hear Great British Baking Show is having a season four coming up pretty soon. Yeah, I mean that's already done. That's already in. The book. Yes. TiVo season Since pass. Keep till I delete. Mm-hmm. No big deal. We're stop. No, yeah. no, no, no big more deal. comic books. Keep until I delete. <laughs> We're going cooking. We're going Just cooking. Just going cooking. Yeah. Right. Well, well oh, no, you do. Jinx. That. Well, <laughs> you owe me a cup. Well, I was well. late. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Michelle Foss, thank yes, you for coming. This, it's been my pleasure. I don't pleasure. believe this will not be your first, your only stop. This is your first. It won't be your only stop. This will not be not. your first. This, one, guest this is not my now. first stop. We will seek the professor <laughs> more often. We're, we're, we're hiring you. We don't pay much. No, no, uh, it's nothing. Yeah, but <laughs> we're really nice people. We can pay you in a Deadpool mug. Dude, <laughs> oh. just pick any comic book That's off after. the wall. Ben won't mind. Ben won't mind. Right, Amy? It's good. Yeah. Good. Shout out to Ben Schwartz. Thank you. Ben Schwartz for writing comic books for everyone here today. So, as always, we would like to thank Ben from Empire's oh, Comics. We just missed our Oprah moment. Everybody check under your seats. You <laughs> get a comic, and you get a comic, and you get a comic. Yes. And, and Ken gets a criticism book. There yes. it is. Yes. <laughs> I think I might have one in my car. Yeah. There we go. It's going to be great. So, as always, thank you to Ben at Empire's Comics for allowing us to be down here. Uh, thank you to the, the, the studio audience. The amazing studio audience. Thank you. 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 Thank um, yeah. Thank you, Professor, for coming on. My oh, pleasure. Man, and professor. giving us your academic uh, <laughs> interpretation. She's our Xavier. It's amazing. <gasps> I but love that. Me, okay, so, <laughs> yes, Professor, because technically, even though I'm, it's only my initials, I'm, yeah, the, I'm the doctor. Barry. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, have no, I, I, I mean, I have like, nothing to show for it. Like, <laughs> oh, I don't have. He's um, a fake okay. doctor. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm a fake doctor. <laughs> <gasps> we finally had a real doctor on the yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. We're legit. They, We're legit. That, that really makes me feel good about myself. Yes. Anyway. We're a media outlet. For awesome. <laughs> the Capeless Crusaders, my name is David Barry at Dr. Barry on any social media platform of your choosing. I'm I'm actually on Pinterest, Ooh, and my, my boards are fantastic. Are you labeled the Capeless Crusaders? No, I'm just Dr. Barry. Uh, we still lied then. No, <laughs> says still you. Alive. Still alive. Says you. Uh, it was still alive. To my right, we have <laughs> honored to be a pupil of the professor. This is the Azorian one, Anthony Steves. Over to my left, Ellie Ooping. This is the Mad Piper. I took Professor Rice, and I think I regret it now. Oh. Nah, he was all right. I was about to but I mean, no, he's I good. He is. He's. A, he, you learn a lot, but I mean, it, yours sounds a little more uh, fun. Oh. And now, yeah. <laughs> oh, since a little, a little more lighthearted, if you will. You're, you're, you're here for the Very outro. Funny. So where can oh. where can we find you if oh. you want to give your Pimp if you want to make anything? Sure. Pimp your media. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Or I'm on uh, the Twitterer mm. at okay. according to Doctor F. And then I'm also on the Instagrams. I love this name. Oh. At the Curious Case of M. Foss. I love that name. I you will that. get a follow. Both of those. Yay. Both of those will Thanks, presently. Folks. One of those might be your your segment on our show going forward. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. Ooh. Yeah. I like that. As Lovely. always. Excellent. For the Capeless Crusaders, a good night. Good night. Double sleep.